hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back um if you're new here my name is soul i'd love to have you here so go ahead and subscribe if you want hopefully <laughs> anyway so today i decided to do a little um review so a couple i'd say maybe like a two weeks ago i purchased a little kit from youth to the people um it's a little skincare kit and i came with five items and i thought it'd be a good little video to do um if you're on the fence of purchasing them or if you don't know if you should so i'm just going to give my honest review and um and thoughts and at the end i'll talk about what products i would actually be um repurchasing or buying the full size of also can we take a moment to appreciate this cute little sweater i'm actually for want from washington um never been to colorado i've heard it's an awesome state i just happened to find this sweater at target and i really like the color and it's very cozy so that is why i'm wearing a colorado um sweatshirt i almost said shirt i'm pretty sure it's a sweatshirt anyway so without further ado let's get into this little review so um the little kit came with five of their mini products i'm gonna have them right here they came in a cute little box but I threw the box away. I should have kept it so I could show the packaging. It was really cute. And it came with a little booklet explaining what the items were and how to use them and what they do for your skin. So to begin with, it came with their Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. Then it also came with their Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. And I'll talk about these products individually. I'm just going to run through them very quickly. It also came with their Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. Um, their green kale and green tea spinach with vitamin superfood cleanser and then with their maki and acai prickly pear goji um, glow face oil the main reason that I bought this little kit I was looking for skincare because my skin is just very dry lately which is super weird because I've never had um, dry skin before so I went into Sephora with the hopes of finding a moisturizer and I was disappointed because they were all super expensive and I didn't know which one I wanted to try and I didn't want to buy a full size item and not end up liking it. So I was between Biosans or Youth to the People because they're clean, they're non-toxic, they're more on the natural side um, and that's what I'm all about. So I ended up going with Youth to the People because I feel like they're more, a um, little bit more natural and they don't have any fragrance or very gentle from what I've read and I also happened to see that they had a little kit with all these little items that you can just go ahead and buy without having to commit to a full-size item so I went ahead and buy it and I think this kit retails retails for let's see $48 that's what I got it for and yeah so I'm gonna start talking about each product individually and give you my thoughts and um, how I've been liking it so far I know I've only used these for about almost two weeks but it doesn't take long for me to figure out if I like a product or not and so yeah so I'm going to start off with a kale green tea spinach superfood cleanser I really like this it smells to me reminds me of like fresh like veggie type a smell I don't know that's very hard to explain they all come in a little glass container which I really like um glass plastic you can also reuse these um, if you're going to go on a trip or go out of town, you can just refill these with like your skincare. And they're very easy to take with you. So this one I liked because, um, like I said, it's gentle, it doesn't smell like anything, it's not harsh on the skin, and it cleanses. I particularly use it in the morning just because I want to have that fresh feel. And yeah, my skin seems to be loving it. And it is just, um, it's like a thin consistency. It does not foam up. And I think because it doesn't foam up like regular cleansers, it doesn't strip the skin or dry out the skin, which I really need right now. Okay. And then next is the Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. This one is a little bit on the thinner side, hence the name Air Whip. Um, it does have kale, spinach, and hyaluronic acid. So it is great for hydration. This one says to apply day and night. I just use this in the morning before bed, before bed, no, <laughs> before I put on my makeup because I find it that it is more on the thinner consistency so it's not thick 
and does not interfere with my makeup and I've been really liking it and although it's thin it's still very moisturizing it's just not greasy which I'm all about especially when you put on your makeup you don't want to feel like a grease ball um, so that's great for that and then the one that I was really excited about and I was thinking about purchasing seeing the full size of um, before I found this little kit was the moisture cream it is a thicker consistency um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a thicker cream compared to the Air Whip one, but it is so moisturizing. And like I said, they don't have any smells, they're very gentle, and more on the natural side, which I'm all about. Um, it's just very moisturizing, but does not feel greasy, and it absorbs into the skin very fast. And then moving on, they have their Super Berry Hydrate glow dream mask I thought this was like a wash off mask but it's actually um, an overnight mask so you just put it on like um, thin to thick layer and you just leave it on overnight like it says and in the morning you just wash it off and your skin is just super soft I'm not a big fan of masks just because I'm more <laughs> I feel like I'm lazy and I just I'd rather just get my skincare done and over with instead of having to wait for something and then have it to wash it off. But this is great. You can just put it on, sleep with it on. The next morning, just wash and cleanse your face like normal. And for me, I found that it left my face very moisturizing and had a little bit of a glow. So I'm all about that. This one has a very subtle hint of berries. And I've joked about that it makes me want to eat it <laughs> because it's just smells so good but it's it's like not a it's like barely there but i can tell it smells like berries um and it's not irritating i have very sensitive skin and any fragrance will make it just feel um like if it's um, almost on fire so to speak like my skin reacts to fragrance and um anything just not good it's just very sensitive <laughs> and this is good for it although it smells like a little bit like berries it does not irritate my skin and then lastly we have a mckee and i'll sell you prickly pear goji oil this is a face oil it's very hydrating and um, i don't find it to be super greasy um you probably can't even see it but it's just a very thin um oil and it's very moisturizing not greasy at all but if you don't like the feeling of oil, um, then this probably wouldn't be something you would like. But I'm very on the dry side right now, so I'm liking that. So yeah, um, these are my thoughts. I really like the brand. I'm going to continue to use their products. I'll show you very quickly um, the items that I will be purchasing the full size of and why. So I am going to be purchasing the full size of the deep moisture cream just because it's something that I really enjoyed and it helps my skin out a lot as well as the air whip moisture cream just because I can use it under makeup um every now and then if you know if I run out of cleanser I'll go for the I'll end up buying the kill green tea spinach um superfood cleanser I find that with cleansers I don't really care which one I use just because you wash your face and then it just like goes down the drain essentially um but if I want to splurge I'll go ahead and buy their cleanser as for the two other items they are super great um, but the oil, I, now that I have the, uh, super moisturizing cream, the deep moisture cream, I don't find the need to have to add oil just because it is super moisturizing. And as for the mask, like I said, I'm not a very, um, mask type of girl, so I don't find the need to have to repurchase that. So yeah, I'll just end up buying these two. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little mini review and my little thoughts on these items if you're on the fence i would very much recommend you buying the little k and just trying out and see which ones you like that's what i did and found it very helpful um yeah if you have any questions or any suggestions of what could help my dry skin right now leave them down in the comments below i greatly appreciate it um and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video